Here we are again, truck fans. So what we're looking at here is a 1968 Nissan Patrol from Greenlight. And they have several of these different all-terrain series, I've come to realize. Uh, I think they just released Series 11, but this one's from back um, from Series 9. So the Nissan Patrol, uh, there's a couple variations because there are medi short, medium, and long wheelbase versions. But uh, the history of the Patrol dates way back to 1951. And uh, this is just considered the second generation that was available between 1959 all the way to 1980. That's a big stretch. Um, so let's see here. Now, I looked at the wheelbases here, and it seems like this is the short wheelbase that Greenlight modeled because it has a 2200 millimeter wheelbase in real life. And I took my digital calipers to it on the packaging, and this is pretty much 164 scale. So, okay. kind of tight in here so what's going on all right so this car well this truck was the first available in Australia according to Wikipedia let's focus here and then later on it was sold in Canada and America between uh, 1962 and 1969 it was it was sold at the Datsun dealerships so it was the first Nissan sold in America before you know later on they just switched everything over to Nissan's uh, all all of these things were four-wheel drives, no matter what wheelbase. They're all four-wheel drive vehicles, and then there are four-liter inline six cylinders powering these things. There are some variations. Obviously, we're looking at a two-door soft top, but uh, hold on here. There was also a three-door hard top, a three-door uh, door wagon slash van. And then there was a two-door pickup as well. <coughs> okay, so I think you had enough time to compare those uh, images. I think it looks, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm okay with it, except for the tires. I um, I forget what channel. Some someone else has one of these. Maybe it was Die Castrum or Champion DJK. But look at the width of the tires. You know, old military-style tires are kind of like that. Right, but the tires on these things are way too too skinny in proportion to the vehicle. These tires look like they're from 19, 1900. You know, these look like Model T tires. So definitely, definitely wrong. It's really strange why they would put such narrow tires on this thing. Okay, so that is a bit of a criticism. It's too bad. Let's uh, get a better angle here and see what else we can find. Hopefully not much. All right, starting from this view. Now the steel wheels do look pretty good. Uh, you know, they also have this protruding uh, four-wheel drive. I don't know if that's the control. You know, sometimes you have a, a switch to switch it into four-wheel drive mode. I don't know what that's properly called, but uh, if anyone ha knows, please leave a comment. Where's the back? This should just be black, I guess, but that's okay. This tire is a little messed up. It's interesting that this is such a skinny tire, but it actually is a piece of rubber. It's not plastic. What I don't know is if I can fix that. I'll have to save it for later. Okay, what's going on on the side? It looks like some printing here. Yeah, it says Nissan Patrol. The Patrol is quite legible, but I don't know about the Nissan part. I guess it's there. It's just not very crisp. You know, it seems like it's a little blurred. But you can see the protruding uh, hinges here for the door. Some sort of vent there. A protruding and painted door handle, so that looks pretty good. And then, uh, not much else there. Let's go to the front here. So you got painted headlights, painted turn signals. They're painted pretty well. I just kind of wish they were clear plastic, like on some of the other green lights I see. There is a texture in here. I was trying to see if it's a separate piece of plastic, but I don't know. I can't, I honestly can't tell. I think it's just painted black. So I think this texture is part of the casting and it's just really well painted black. Okay, so you have separate plastic bumpers. Okay, and actually a lot of separate plastic uh, drivetrain down here. And you have two press rivets here holding it together. I don't see a year. 
like a copyright year when this mold was first made. Oh well. Okay, we're well going around to the back. We have a matching uh, spare wheel, so that's nice to see. And then we have some details painted on here. The taillights, they're pretty nice. I mean, they hit it with silver first to show the chrome ring, and then they hit it with red, so that's pretty neat. I'm not sure what this tiny thing is. Maybe it's a reflector? But then it says here, Pit Pro Nissan, so that's good. There's a little black here for the uh, light that illuminates the license plate. I think it would have been nice to have like a graphic there for the license plate, though. Okay, some little dots here for, I guess those must be hinges, maybe, for the, the rear gate. And then this bumper is a separate plastic piece. Okay. This side here. Oh, seems to be a little silver paint here for the fuel filler. Everything else is identical to the other side, though. No problem. Okay. Oh, a little wobbly. So I'm um, curious. Well, I guess we'll talk about the hood. There's some black paint here for details here, including the little rubber T things that hold the hood down. I don't know if these are tie downs or yeah. I think this is a tie down. Looking at the real photo. I'm not sure what these two little black things are here though. Maybe they're for wiper fluid, but I'm just kind of guessing there. Oh, I see. The windshield here in real life can flip down like, a, like an old Jeep. So those must be rubber stops for the windshield to rest on when it's doing safari mode. Okay, so what is this thing? I think that's a raised, yeah, it's a raised and painted silver windshield wiper blade set. So I'm looking at the real photo now. The wiper blades, are overlapping in the stored position and then this one swings down that way and this one swings down that way so that's an interesting interesting wiper blades okay that's, that's weird though that means the motors must be up there why would they go through that trouble I'm not sure okay it's interesting the uh, windows well that is accurate I was at first wondering why aren't these painted black or is chrome but looking at the photos, it's body colored, so that that's actually accurate. So now we have this canvas top, and there's a little silver printing there as well. Uh, nothing on the top. Oh, look at this on the back, and you can see those little silver printing here. I'm not sure what those are, though. They're not on the real image I have. And then why would they only be on one side? Oh, no, they are up there. They're just hidden by the spare. Okay, so... Maybe they're button snaps of some sort. Some sort of metal things that hook onto posts or something to keep the thing from flapping in the wind. So does this come off? Uh-oh. I don't know if this is coming off or not. Oh, there it goes. I think it's maybe paint or something is making it stick, so... Just gotta wiggle it and break the paint. There we go. Alright, so this top is like one big clear piece of plastic and then they painted the rest of it tan. It's a pretty effective way to do something. I, I, I think it's pretty good actually. Okay. So, I'm not sure if this is normal, you know, having this much metal here. I, I don't see why that would happen on the real vehicle, but maybe it is. Not sure. Alright, so let's see, it's that dashboard. Oh yeah, there's a lot of detail going on there. Now, it seems like the steering wheel is upside down, but I wonder if it can spin. No, it's glued in place. But look at all the little, you know, switches and stuff like that. There's the little cubby there, so that's pretty good. You know, even the door has an interior panel there. With the armrest, probably a wind down window handle, maybe. And then we got two little bench seats here in the back. Ribbed uh, casting detail in the bed. Some sort of junk there. Okay. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, so, well, I'm not sure what to think about this. From the side view, I think it looks pretty great. I just don't, uh, it's the wheels. And, well, the tires actually, not the wheels. They're really kind of skinny. So, I guess that's the one, one major problem. You know, everything else looks really nice, I think. I just kind of wish those tires were a little bit wider. 
I'm debating if I should do a 3D printed wheel project on this maybe. I guess if I get bored someday I will I'll just print new wheels for this but the actual casting itself is pretty nice. I only wish it just had those clear plastic uh, headlights and then it would be a really fantastic model. Everything else I guess is, is okay. For the price it's a, a great model I think. So for me I'd say it's a, it's good to go if you're, uh, you know you're, you want to buy a model under $10. Okay guys, well I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you around in the next uh, review. Thanks.